Okay, everybody, so here's the video uh, comparing the Windows performance of Cyberpunk at 4K, obviously, with the LSS and all that, versus three other videos that I've seen. I actually saw others, but these were the more, uh, the ones I would trust more. So there's this channel, uh, Z Warm Z Gaming. I saw the whole video. I just grabbed this part. He did a great work here, like great work. Um, so you can just uh, Z Warm Z Gaming. You can go there or just type um, 4090 Cyberpunk. You're going to see his video. I think it's the third one or the second one or something like that in the YouTube uh, list. So basically what we're getting from here is, you know what? Uh, he had at that moment, so he had 60, so around 67. Obviously it's moving. But 67, uh, and at that moment he had RT with Psycho. And the LSS in quality, which is typically uh, typically uh, the one that I use here. This is one case. The other one is here. Uh, they were using ray tracing without the LSS. Okay, so they were having 37 again a 4K. And this is X Garbit, so another one another one that I can trust. Um, and here's Bang for Buck PC Gamer. I mean, he has his own thing here. But you're seeing 78, let's just say 80, 80 FPS there on Windows. Uh, and you can see everything else here. Th this is very neat, very cool, this one. Um, another channel that I actually trust. So with that in mind, again, we got 80 here with the LSS, just in case, in quality. We got this one here at 37. Let's round that out to, to 40, okay? And this one's 80. So without the LSS, and with the ray tracing, uh, this person is getting uh, 40. And this one is getting, let's round that out to 70. Uh, with um, it, At this moment, he didn't have frame generation. He actually did it on the video. So he removed frame generation. And he only had uh, ray tracing at Psycho and the other side in quality. Okay. So let's test. Let's test how Cyberpunk is at 4K using those same stats. I know depending on the area of the map, it's going to change a little bit, but if they're more or less the same, that means that there's no big, huge difference between um, uh, Linux and, and Windows. Thing. So let's do the LSS quality test here. So uh, I think they had it less. I don't know if this affects the performance, but I'm just going to put it 50. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so there, there's there's all that. And let's go test. Yeah, that same one. Hey, I know Mango HUD removes some FPS. I think it was one or two FPS there, but we're just talking about one or two, so I'm gonna be crying here. So here's uh, 4K, DLSS quality. I totally forgot. Like, I'm literally telling you guys this and I forgot it. Okay, quality at 50, um, and we're having 40, okay? So let's just go up. Uh, if you remember my previous video, we were actually having here 60. So we have like a 50% reduction between 1080 and, and, and 4K. We're getting, for some reason, we're getting a steady 40, 40, 41. Okay, there we go, it went down a little bit. Look at that water. Look at that water. Look, look at that crash. Look at that crash. Somebody died there. Okay, so let's... We're getting 40, 40, 40. We're getting 40 there. Okay, now to speed up the video, let's change this and just remove the LSS. So we can uh, do it like the other one. So now I went to literally less than 30. Okay? I do feel the lag. A little bit, but if you're used to 60 or above 30, then you can see the, the like it feels like input lag. Hey, space, Give me space, faster. Okay, so here we are. Uh, what's first? I think yeah, what's first? Okay, we're getting 30. Worst case scenario. Okay. So again, 4K. If we disable the LSS, we get 40. 
I mean, with uh, quality, we get 40. Without the LSS, we get 30. The Ultra. Let's see what we're going to be getting. We get... Holy crap. We turn the computer into like a 1080 performance. So we're back at 60. You can see how the game looks. We got ray tracing there. The thing that I'm about to disable now. Okay, we're getting six above 60. Okay. Now, let's start testing all this without ray tracing. Again, do take into consideration the stability. I'm doing all this test. Nothing is dying. So we kill ray tracing. And now we're around 90. Oh, okay, we're at 90. Good for you. Almost 90. Oh my god, somebody almost died. Whoa! I didn't bring him over. He's alive. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're 80 above 80 there. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking because if I say above 80, it goes below 80. If I say almost 90, are you gonna get to 90? No, you're not. Okay. That's the additional performance. Now let's put this in quality. Let's see what's gonna happen. There you go. It like stays a little bit above that 40 that I had there, so basically 50. And now, let's disable the OSS. Let's see what's gonna happen. Now it goes to 30. Alright, like, that's weird because you know that I had 30 when I had the ray tracing enabled. Oh my god. Okay, so you're seeing there the frame rate. Let's turn around and let's test it with ray tracing enabled again. What are you doing? So it's a little bit less than what you have here, like what? One, two, three frames less. So that should give you an idea, an idea of what we're comparing when talking about Windows versus uh, Linux performance. For this game, for this game by the way. So let's get the hell out of the game. Uh, and let's look at the images again. Here you can see. Okay, uh, this is all of them are 4K on this specific one, the Worm Z. That's uh, the LSS in quality and ray tracing was enabled, uh, and uh, he was getting 67. And you saw what I got there. So obviously Windows is uh, better in that regard, a little bit better in that regard. Here, a little bit better, and here. You double check the LSS quality and ray tracing, getting 80. So we were, we are all getting almost the same thing. It's just that you're getting a little bit additional FPS values on Windows. Why am I doing this video? Because I had the, I don't know why I had the idea that Cyberpunk was running between 20 and 50% lower in performance compared to Windows. But as you can see, we're almost the same. We're almost the same there. Like if I clock, I don't know if they actually clock the this the you you would need to tell me. Like if this if this is normal clock speed for the RTX forty ninety there thousand nine hundred is that the normal RAM speed? Like a, is did this user uh, use XMP? What what the hell are they using here? Okay, they have a twelve nine hundred K, which is a, a lower than. 12 gen, I got 13 gen, but did they tweak, overclock something that would push them a little bit more? Those are the questions. Okay, again, I leave those questions off to you guys, but now you are able to know the performance on Windows versus Linux. Same here. Uh, this is uh, gen 10. Okay, so we gotta be we gotta be objective here. Okay, we gotta be in pro of Windows, but also in pro of Linux. In regards to analyzing the performance, so same thing here. They have a 4090. Um, I do 
I think I have more megahertz. I think. Um, but they do have a nice performance for the type of setup that they did here, which is without the LSS, but with ray tracing in it. Okay. Um, and lastly, uh, we got this one here. Same thing. Yeah, this one. So they got 67. So we're not we're not far off on Linux. Remember that there's still some updates that VKD, uh, VKD 3D is going to be doing. Proton, Wine, um, Latency Flex. All these projects are op still optimizing general everything. So let's see what's going to happen in something like three months from now. But right now you can see that the performance, it's a little bit less, a little bit. Not 20% as I thought, or 50% as I was getting the idea from some of those fake videos. I was like, holy crap, my, my 4090 sucks. So it, you, I can, I can like with these three videos, I can actually be more sure that, nope, you, you, we are good. We are good. We're not that bad. Uh, we, there's still progress to be made at the level of the driver, of course, at the level of GNOME or KDE or X-Phase or whichever um, environment you're using there. Um, in all the, Projects that are working towards a better performance on Linux, but overall, I'm I'm happy, happy about this. So let me know in the comments what you think, um, and correct me if you saw something that I did wrong. You have to teach me so I can do better video videos for you. Okay. So with that said, big hugs to everybody. Think positive as always. Bye.